In 2022, I was an immigrant in Canada, struggling to get by, and I was waiting tables for a living. What was that like, you asked? It fucking sucked. But somehow, I managed to bear through it and still managed to open doors of opportunity that led me to work with the likes of Deep Jandu, Jonita Gandhi, and A.R. Rahman as a videographer. But the more I started working with these artists, the more I realized that working as a videographer just as an accessory isn't exactly going to be the way you can get forward in the creative hustle. I mean, think about these musical artists for a second, right? You can always get by by performing in venues or locations and getting paid for gigs. But you only truly hit that degree of freedom when you're able to put out a product that can be consumed by the masses aka the music that you end up blasting on repeat it's literally all about coming up with a product and distributing it now creating content full-time and doing it sustainably while making sure that it's financially rewarding isn't always an easy hustle like there's only so much money you can make if you're working as a videographer spending 10 hour days shooting things or just spending endless hours editing things in a pc not to say that these technical skills aren't useful but at the end of the day what happens is you spend a lot of time working in the business and not enough time on the business and trying to grow it now the cool thing is you can stack the skill by blending in a bunch of marketing knowledge and sales skills while leveraging your storytelling skills to get into fields like advertising which obviously pays a lot of money alternatively if you're really one of these technical guys who are really good at shooting or editing you can always join youtube channels and claim a stake of revenue or profits because you're heavily involved in making sure that the quality of that content that gets consumed is up to the mark. But personally, my strengths have always been dealing with people, which is why I'm in front of you guys making this video. Now, 2022 wasn't my year. Neither was 2023. And unless I wanted 2024 to go the same way, I knew I had to change my mind from being someone who was driven by results to being someone who's driven by the process. I made myself a promise at the beginning of this year. They say quantity builds quality. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do out here with the content that I put out. And to make this a little more about improvement, like, you know, progressive overload at the gym and making sure you get 1% better, I started tracking every video that I put out quality-wise to see exactly what I could do better going forward and seeing where this 1% improvement takes me over a period of time. And obviously, the shitty thing about this is the fact that you don't really notice any considerable changes overnight. But then once you just start seeing how many pieces of content you keep putting out without really moving forward, it gaslights you to do that much more and also be better while you're doing it. And eventually, over time, you end up improving quality as well. At the moment, the goal is pretty much just to put out one video a week and hopefully get to around 50 videos a year. And I'm already a good four videos behind. So shout out Neetu for helping me do this because if it wasn't for you, I'd still probably be lazy and just put out shooting videos. Isn't this process really time consuming? apps you f***ing lootly. Between the time it takes to script, shoot, edit, publish, analyze, design a thumbnail and whatnot, you're absolutely spent and spread completely thin. At the end of the month, my bank account's emptier than an anorexic chick wearing a D-cup bra. The truth is I could go all tits out in creating content, but I am a 25 year old and I'm no longer in high school where I just have an infinite amount of time to f*** about and just do whatever it is that I want. Now. Being at home has its advantages. Am I necessarily paying for rent and a lot of other things? No. But I'm also constantly surrounded by my peers who are within the age group of 25 to 27 who are all doing pretty cool things with their lives and are very responsible and are out there on their own. And as much as you shouldn't be comparing yourself, you do still want to get to a degree of financial stability and be responsible for things in your life. And I don't want to neglect that just for some internet clout. Now, is clout necessarily bad? Absolutely not. It's the influence that you build over time using these pieces of content that could sustain you in the long term, but that has to be in some degree of harmony with the business that you generate to put food on the table in the present. So could I Mr. Beast this shit and make a lot of fun content where I do a bunch of other shit apart from articulating the painful journey of starting out on your own? Absolutely. But at the moment, this feels kind of f***ing real. And I'm all about authenticity in every sense of the word. So if it's going to be painful, I want to document the pain. Uh, that could also be the title of my sex tape, but let's not go there. But for now, I'm all about taking it one step at a time, one day at a time, and I'll catch you on the next one.